channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support Hello, this everybody channel. everybody on YouTube and welcome. We are drafting Vintage Cube today. Spend your weekend doing dog sitting for your new roommate. So cute, Jess. What kind of dogs? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Felda, you're so sweet. I appreciate it. That is so sweet. I know it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Chat, be cool, okay? We're gonna force the strip mine deck. It doesn't matter what we open. We're we're all in on this lane. Basically, I've been trying to get this deck the entire cube season, and I ne I always draft the deck around it, and never get the actual strip mine. It didn't even see it. Chat, I didn't recognize what the strip mine looks like because that's how rarely I ever see a strip mine. That's how unlucky I've run the whole cube season. Chat, hey, YouTube, Gabby, Peza, welcome back with the fifteen. All right, so we're on the strip mine stipulation. Basically, we're drafting a strip mine deck. We're, I don't even know if it's a stipulation. We're just forcing it. It's not a stipulation. We just, this is it. This is our time, finally. <laughs> oh, baby. All right. That is a crucial part to the strip mine deck. We really, really got there. So now we're looking for stuff like Crucible of Worlds, uh, Dried of the Elysian Grove, um... What's the one that looks like he's like jumping or, or like this? You guys know it's it's like a lizard. He's like jumping like this. Do you know what I'm talking about? I forget its name. Yes, ramming up excavator. Thank you, thank you. Every time Gabby draws, it's always strip mine deck. All YouTube comments. I know, except this time where we actually have the strip mine deck. It's amazing. It's it feels good, man. Rage. I pay I pay my dues to be in the whitelist NBD. Yeah, Ren and Six is also a really good. Um, Part of the deck. I think we're gonna go with Foothills. Oh, Moxie D is not bad actually. Moxie D I think is might be a little bit better. We want fast mana and and being able to bin something, d discard a card and then you just play it from the graveyard is actually pretty good. Ooh, thanks for the level two scam train chat. Choo choo, conductor train. Yeah, binning a land, buying it back. You kind of love to see it. All right, so let me move the strip mine over here because that's a land, but these can go here for sure. I collected all of the level two emotes. That's that, that that's the thing that's only visible to me. But why poggers? It's not poggers. I I would like to collect more emotes. I never even use them, but I want them all. Choo choo. It's basically buy a village, sell a village. You think about it. My favorite move in all of magic: buy a village, play the village. Hey, Silver Shadow oh one. Thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. It is lovely to have you here. Oh no, I have run out of coffee. That is a true tragedy. Hello, Gabby. It was my birthday this week and bought myself some presents. Wolf's Ark, what did you get yourself? And also, I have something for you. Happy, happy birthday from my stream deck that's not working. God damn. All right. Pretend that my stream deck worked. Okay, that's not even the right command. Come on, stream deck, get it together. Doot, doot. Yeah, I'm taking Cultivate here. Glad to be a sub and helping you help me, Gabby. Thank you, Z's man. Oh my gosh, congratulations on your engagement! All right, I, I'll take the Cultivate. Yeah, happy belated, Wolfsark. I don't know why my stream deck isn't working. Can you, like, here it is. Maybe... Okay, that's my new thing. You got a new big Warhammer box and the new Jessica Commander deck? I couldn't find for a while! Feels good, man. Feels birthday, man. Uh, hi, Gabby, watching Cube over Team Rec. Canesland, that is a smart idea. How are you doing, dude? It's good to see you. Um, let's take Bird to Paradise. Your friend was in the hospital all weekend, but it looks like they're going to be fine. Okay, okay. Whew, that's spooky. Quite spooky. Ooh, Tireless Tracker. Fast Bond. Cultivate. That's a combo if you've ever seen one. And Viv is pretty good, but I think Tireless Tracker is kind of where we want to be at with this deck. You survived your birthday weekend, but now back to work. Don the kid! Oh, that's right. You were. It was your 23rd birthday? Is that right? 22nd, 23rd? I hope you had a really good birthday. Sylvan Carrioted. It's that or Tusk. I kind of want to take the Rampers for now. Because we're going to be able to play some bangers with this deck. Like, this deck's going to curve up high. Green is definitely open. And no, we got the Strip Mine Taco Cut. Be cool. Be cool, chat. We don't want Maze of Ith. We don't want really any. 24th, perfect. I remember it was like in like your mid to early 20s. That's really cool. Did you do anything fun? I know you said you were going to like a restaurant maybe to go get some food. I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday this year. Probably nothing. 
Maybe D&D. Honestly, with D&D, then it was my birthday in the campaign. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'll take the scoos for the sideboard. Progenitus in case of natural order. I think there's such such better um, targets that we wouldn't even bother with it. Not really. Spoonie, welcome back with a 21 months. It is lovely to see you, friend. I'm going to take Inferno Titan because there's a non-zero chance we end up in red-green due to um, Ren and Six. I like that better than Hardbeat of Spring because we're just not playing that. No chance. I think since we're not playing any of these, we can probably take like an Ostone for the sideboard. Very unlikely to play that. We're not playing these. This isn't even us that the green isn't open. There were just no green cards in these packs, if I remember correctly. Is this the dream? It is, Ark. I know. Be, be cool, chat. Don't. We can't look too desperate. I'm going to take Collective Brutal. Oh, I can see Banishing Light Nucleo. I'll take... Oh. I think I ended up with Thassa's Oracle. Jeez, that's not what I wanted. It's fine, though. We weren't going to play any of those. You went to Brazilian Steakhouse in Chicago and then came back to town for karaoke and bar hopping? Cute. I assume it was uh, socially distanced to some degree. I'm, I know most places aren't even open right now. Dom, I used to live right by where all the Brazilian steakhouses were in Chicago. BK! Oh my gosh, you guys. Can we get some mega love and hype for BK who played in the Pro Tour Finals yesterday? Or, God, I don't even know what it's called. Players Tour Finals? Holy fish moly. Well, we're going to take Mox Ruby. And uh, he finished right out of top 16, which is really unfortunate because it almost looked like he would have been locked if he played. He was playing for top 8 when he lost out late to Ben White. Uh, okay, BK, <laughs> stop being, you're being outrageous. But BK did awesome, and it was just so cool. And I want to I wanna hype up my friend because he, he's badass. That's why. So, BK, much love to you. Let me, once again, my stream deck not allowing me to do any of the love and hype I want to do. Hold on, can I hype you up like this? My stream deck is garbage. Why did I pay for this thing? Just, why did I bother? Why, why pay for that thing? It doesn't never does anything. Unhype BK? How dare you? <gasps> Dry to the Elysian Grove. Okay. <sighs> cool, 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 cool. Yeah, clearly, Bari. I either need to pay a lot more or pay a lot less for my stupid stream deck. Caracas is interesting. Why is chat so wholesome and nice? Because it's our nice stream community, BK. Why, why else? So Green Sun, Zenith, or Caracas. I actually kind of think it's Green Suns. Being able to Green Sun, Zenith for Tireless Tracker is like pretty good. It's only four mana and then you like draw a bunch of cards from it. <laughs> Time tester <laughs> called out. Hold on, Mox Ruby counts as a land, so let's put it over here. Um, Ooh, I like Vista. I like Vista a lot. We could end up with... What are we tabling from this pack? We will def and jund. We'll see. Honestly, we might play the Tristani. Yeah, let's take the Vista. The Vista is really good, too. In this deck, specifically. Oh, I love Nissa. Nissa works pretty well with some of the stuff we're doing. You know who we really want? We have Fast Bond. All right, we went straight mine into Fast Bond. It was like the dream. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, Nissa who wins the games. Yeah, this is... Ark, this is why I'm telling chat to be cool. Because we're just getting super whitelisted for this draft. And I'm just like, I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's like our time to shine. And I, <laughs> it's too much responsibility. Um, Yes, we need Crucible. We would love ramming up Excavator too. The lizard that goes like this. People knew exactly what I was talking about, by the way. Search for Tomorrow or Acidic Slime. What pack is this? This is pack two, and we are in, uh, we are 10 cards left in the pack. You like Slime Ball? Yeah, I'm kind of looking at the Slime Ball too. I, I like having, because being able to go like ramp, 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 Acidic Slime, kill one of your two mana sources is pretty strong. All right, I am in for that. Still don't know if we're playing this. Uh, Rafellos looks like it's going to be pretty good in this deck. We have Godless Shrine, which we're not playing. Yes, it's nice with Green Suns, Tron, man. Being able to have like enchantment and artifact slash land removal uh, on tutor is pretty good. Search is generally better, but plays powerfully with cards like Fast Bond or Dryad. Hmm. I see. I see. I see what you what you mean. Rafellos into Green Sun Zenith. Get Excavator. Play Strip Mine Eyes. All right. So we're gonna take Rafellos here. 
Let's see. So we have the Mox Diamond, the Straight Mind, the Vista, and the Mox Ruby. So currently, this is still looking like a decent Ruffellos deck. <laughs> BK, you're so mean. You're right, though. If Tristani's not going to make the cut for this deck, but it's like, put me in, coach. Put me in. It's just like sneaking in like that. Look. Just like that. <laughs> Nature's Claim Assassin's Trophy, literally nothing else. Oh my god, Time Twister, have you really? Vintage Playable Ramming Up Excavator. <sighs> Luca? Luca doesn't really work for our deck very well. I might take it just... Uh, it's gotta be Claim. Claim will actually board in some matchups. The other... Oh, look at how green... Um, how open green is. Do you think Gaia's Cradle or Droga Tree Speaker? Hi, Brood. Hey, Mad Mage. Welcome. Claim is good to blow up rocks that you're killing their lands. Agreed. All right. So I think we take Tree Speaker. Tree Speaker is quite good. I think it's a little... Cradle's so sick if we go, like, have some creatures, play lands, play lands, Cradle to make a bunch of mana, play another creature or something. Cradle is more win more. Yeah, maybe you're right, Time Sister. Let's just take the Tree Speaker. I like Questing Beast. I've been very impressed with this card. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can take Sophie for the sideboard, Caracas maybe for the sideboard, given that we have our fellows in our deck, and Master of the Wild Hunt, which might make it in the main deck. Okay, if Time Twister can co-side in Caracas, I'm in. <laughs> All right, Molly, Molly, cal calm yourself. You're being outrageous. <laughs> You're being outrageous. I like the Garg Dad. It's not bad. Port, but that's not actually going to make it in the deck. Put it over there. Uh, put that over there and put that over there. We are a mean green machine, indeed. Indeed. God, I'm so sad. What is coming to Magic Online after this? Magic Online schedule. Can't believe they're going to take it from us. Legacy Cube? Legacy... No, that's July. August. So it, we're at the end of July. Vintage Cube goes through the 29th. And then after that... Nothing. All right, cool. Oh my gosh, did we get ramming up? <gasps> oh my gosh, we got ramming up. See, I told you it's a lizard going like this. People knew exactly what I meant too. Our last card is a 3BB, but we're not going to take it. All right, Double Masters is next. All right, that actually sounds kind of interesting. I might be playing that on the motos. My uh, my sponsorship with, with the WOTC is Dunzo, which means that I can just kind of be on moto a lot if I want to. Ramming up, Gabrielle. I know, I know. I'm excited. I'm excited. Boop, 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 boo. <laughs> that ought to complete time twister. <laughs> I like, I could see. So currently we're not playing Infernal Titan. We're going to stay on Magic Online forever. <laughs> I more meant that I don't have anything that's pulling me away from Magic Online if there's a good format on here. That's Which I know you knew is that's what I meant, but still. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take the Stomping Ground. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. We have two like really amazing, three really amazing picks here. We have Plow Under, which is really sweet with what we're trying to do. It's like full-on land destruction pro uh, land destruction plan. Ewood or Misty? So what we can do is... I know, Molly. I remember that year. That was not a good year. That was like last year. It was a mistake. I learned from my ways. The error of my ways. So we can go Misty Rainforest and Wheel Plow or Eternal Witness because every green card came back in the last pack. The only thing is it's not clear that we even really need the Misty. Though Misty is really nice with um, like the ramming ups. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's take Misty. I think this is a responsible pick. It works really well with some of the stuff we have. And it's so likely that we get a card back from that pack. So even if we don't get Plow, if we get Ewit, we'd be very happy with it. Goose here or wall? I can see Windswept Teeth 2 potentially. 
Hmm. Fetches are really good. So what's our fetch situation? We have Vista, Misty, Strip Mine. I think we want one more fetch. I think if we take this, we are set on fetches. I think we will be like very happy. Ooh, I like Whisperwood. Whisperwood is pretty good. It's better than Utamog. Oh my god, people saying to lose. We're gonna get the goose back, I bet. Let me take Whisperwood. I think I like it better than Fauna Shaman. Oh my gosh. Vivian is amazing in this deck because this one lets you play creatures from top of your deck. And then we have the stuff. We're still looking for Corsair Crufix and Muli Dooley. And I don't think we're going to see them, actually. Twister would be good in this deck, honestly. I think Viv is, like, amazing here, though. Yes, and we have three fetches for Viv, which is something to think about. Hey, Chad. Hey, Lucid. Welcome, welcome. Um... I could see Knight of Autumn potentially just for the board in. Yeah. I don't think we want Ludicrous. Okay, so this is great. We actually wanted something, like another really big thing. And with Avenger Zendikar, we can get to go, we get to go like play Avenger and then fast bond like land, two lands, three lands or whatever. Um, I agree with that, Jess. I know, Lucid! I, I got my wings. I got my wings. Let me get this Inferno Titan out of here. It's gone. Yeah, so we're not gonna see Corsor or Molly Dooley, sadly. I bet I bet they weren't open in the draft. Because green was so open, I doubt somebody just took it. It does that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So let me take Avacyn's Pilgrim. Nah, I think we can play Fast Bond, Wuja. I think it's good in this deck. I think I like wall here. Drawing drawing stuff is good. Yeah, that's true. Pilgrim does help us if we want to like splash the Knight of Autumn or the Tristani. We don't need the deep the the deep shadow for anything. We're mostly a green deck. Oh, Ewood came back or tooth and nail. Kinda like Ewit to buy back some stuffs. For real fiddles. I just wanted to slow roll me. Yes, Crisis would have been so good in this deck. We really didn't. Good with fetches too. Yeah, let me just take this. I'm not interested in any of these, not really. Just splash the Novi or Coward. I'm, I'm gonna take... Oh, yeah, yeah, the Plow didn't come back. Okay, I'm gonna take the Manamorphos for the sideboard. That's unfortunate, so somebody did take the Plow. We might play that. We are not playing that. You recall that once you said that you don't like to get tagged here in chat and thinking back every time I said something? No, 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 Felda, I don't think you have. Don't... Um, don't feel bad about it at all. It's not that I don't like it. It's that specifically the person I was addressing, um, is like very aggressive about tagging me in every single message just to make sure that I see it. And the, the messages are also like pretty random. So that was not to you at all, Felda. It's yeah, it's when it's every single message that it, that is a problem. So what do we, what else do we want to play in this deck? We kind of ended up short some playables. It was not you, Draco. The person I'm talking about isn't even here right now. It was not you. It was not you. It was not you. I think we will splash. <gasps> Reach, how was it? Did you like it? I love it. I, I don't heat style my hair anymore. It's been like a, such a good change. No, it's not you. <laughs> All right. All right, chat, let's be clear. The, this was specifically to one person who was doing it, who was not in chat right now, and was doing it with literally every single message, and it was like, they just wanted acknowledgement with every message that they sent. <laughs> oh my God, nuclear. If you guys want to spend your points on that, feel free. Uh, wait, that's the issue of sulfates and shampoo. Um, basically, Narvely, uh, there is this, like, method of styling called the curly girl method, which is aimed at, uh, people with longer, curlier, and, like, more frizzy hair. <laughs> oh my god! Synth, are you serious? You hadn't watched it before? It's so good. Not interesting, you're both very good. Easy to play one on planes. I think we might play this. And this and not the Hunt Master. I think that's the plan. And we can we can play one planes and like the Vista plus Caracas are gonna splash this thing easily. <laughs> I will notice you if you want attention via points. I will do that. Hmm. It's incredible, Synth. It was like my favorite movie for a long time. I don't even know if it's not my favorite movie anymore. It's just it's hard to have a favorite movie, just in general. 
Toto, how are you? Feed Julie the combos. I will. Julita, you want a treaty? She's going to come running. Watch. <laughs> Julie, sit. Julie, sit. Julie, down. Down. Shake. Good girl. Whoa, what a cutie. I like a dreamy I'm in. <sighs> Who's the sponsor? All right, chat's going out of control. <laughs> Your partner's into that hair care method, all sorts of fun hair accessories in my apartment. Now, that's awesome, Beer Mystic. Yeah, so basically, if you just Google curly girl method, you'll see. But basically, Jeez. sulfates make nice it harder for like frizzy hair to style properly. So I've been styling my hair without anything by using this method. So if you're interested in it, if you have curly or frizzy hair that you might benefit from this it's basically just determines the shampoo you should buy oh yeah chad has lost it they're not losing it they've lost it already <laughs> this is how we get highlighting removed from redemptions i'm fine keeping highlighting in redemptions i think it's fine i, I suppose you could overuse it to the point that we lose it oh interesting rage i see i see well i was using sulfate sulfate full Shampoo, I guess. Finally experienced Hamilton for the first time. <gasps> oh my gosh, so good. Combos. Thank you, Cyclo. Jilly, you want another one? Jilly, high five. High five. Good girl. Shake. Shake. Good girl. Trying to save for corn dog using it on highlighting. Oh my god, Drake. Chad has lost it. Chad is gone. All right, so this looks like our deck. Uh, we can play Mox Ruby, Winds Up Teeth, Strip Mind, not Stomping Ground, not Port, definitely Vista, definitely Misty, definitely Caracas, and not Godless Shrine. Yes, we got a nice combo deck, and Julie got some nice combos. You, I know, I know, Ark. I don't know what else we could play. We're just kind of... I guess I could see us play Scavengers. When will I teach Julie how to do... I've been trying to teach her how to roll over, but it's going medium. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like that pose very much. All right, time to do some. We're just following LSV example. <laughs> it's going well, Shibkama. Thanks for asking. Um, I will... I will get some pictures of the garden today and maybe like put them on twitter i have enjoyed doing some garden updates does she ever go on her back on her own yes she does go on her back on her own and i know you can use that to kind of like teach her like when she does the thing you give her the the click and the positive reinforcement so if we do this and we play one plains and 10 forests let's just kind of see where we're at is the white splash really better than the red i think it's worse it's easier on our mana because I don't think we can really splash the Titan. I think that's really... I guess we have Mox Ruby, Mox Diamond. Hmm. Hold on, you might have a point. If we cut the... I thought we added a planes. Yes, I saw that German. I saw that. I really... It was really funny. So if we switch this and this... Um, I don't see the planes. What happened to it? Hey, inner. There is a planes. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so if we cut that in favor of a mountain, because I do think Inferno is much better. We cut this and this and instead play Inferno at six and Hunt Master of the Fells. Why stomping? Because we're going to play our red splash. We have mountain, stomping, misty gets ma stomping, vista gets mountain, winds of teeth gets stomping, mox ruby gets red, uh, birds of paradise makes red, karyatid makes red, cultivate makes red. So we have nine red sources with this. Yeah, we can easily splash this. Why Caracas? Caracas is just a good card. So we have nine red, and for green we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen with Mox Diamond. Okay, 
14 green, 3 red. Love it. Chad, did you watch the the finals over the weekend? I heard I heard production was not good. I heard there were a lot of tech issues. But I wasn't watching with volume actually. We just had it on the battle station. So you were so happy to see Jen Sack in a few. I'm happy for Ben too, Ryan. It was really rough for me because I really, really, you know, I love Ben. But obviously I was reading for BK. And then BK lost and he got just raffle stomped. So I also was like so nervous because I knew he was playing his match. But, you know, it's not like a normal pro tour. So you can't go bird a match or anything. So I was just like sitting around like twiddling my thumbs like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I want BK to win. And then no updates came because they held their match. Yeah, that makes sense, Synth. You were busy ra raising my BGs and them. Oh, what is your MMR now, Ark? Look at this. We can do some stuff with this hand. We're not. We're ramping into nothing, but we can definitely ramp into nothing. Um. Let's see. Oh, I didn't take a screenshot of the deck. Yeah, no, you're going down. So, I think we can go Forest, play Fast Bond. Uh, Windswept Teeth. Fetch. Do we want to get the Red Swords? Yeah, I, I, the only thing I'm not going to show is the Strip Mine. This hand is going nowhere fast. Holy moly. I think I will get it. I know I'm taking some damage here, but it's fine. Um, and then Vista. I'm going to get green with this one. And then we'll have double red off of Birds of Paradise and Stomping Ground. God, a draw seven would be so sick in this deck. What if we just level up the tree speaker? Huh. Like <laughs> Scully, <laughs> people arrive. I think I'm just gonna play all my burbs and not level them up yet. Top 500? You love to see it. Okay, so this and this. Cool. Wow, opponent's gonna think we have no chill. Okay, so we're gonna strip mine that. Okay, now we need to draw Ramming Up Excavator. Ramming Up Excavator, please! Okay, well, <laughs> we ramped into nothing. <laughs> we did it, chat. I guess we can level up Juraga Tree Speaker again. Why not? <laughs> All right, we, now we need a finisher. <laughs> we did the thing. I know, we kind of needed a draw seven, huh? The, the problem is I think this, this kind of deck would be way better with um, Corsa Crufix or Oracle Moldaya, because then we can actually draw the spells. But if we draw lands off the top, it's like... Okay, well, we're gonna Ewit back the strip mine. That's what we're gonna do. E yeah, even Harmonize would be sick. <laughs> People are right. <laughs> oh, I would love a Vivian. That'd make me so happy. Bye bye. Um, guess we start attacking with Droga Tree Speaker. <laughs> I can't level up an attack because uh, it's a tap to level up. So, yeah, also, Ewit is going to start attacking now. Oh, no. They were slow rolling the Mox Jet. What do they have? In before Toxic Deluge, I would lose it. Green Suns for two. Okay. All right. That kind of gets them out of their their land destruction nightmare. Oh, hello. We we are supposed to play this, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have the lands though. I know we get three O ones. I think we we're supposed to do it though. 
It's still a 5-5, five five, yeah. Oh my god, if we greens and seen this for Excavator, we're just gonna go ham. Can we just draw Excavator, please, for the love of god? I want it so badly! Iron Eyes, we're missing some pieces, but we have the strip mine. So we're we're feeling pretty good. Crucible would have been so good in this deck. I would have loved Crucible. Alright, so they can definitely play something big now, but if we even if we just draw a land next turn, we're in good shape. <laughs> It's gotten a little more Mimi, uh, Boosh. Yes, we would just go infinite with Ramin up next turn. Please, Ramin up one time. Darko, thank you for the three Lands months. Only. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. I want that so badly. Okay, so they have Acidic Slime coming next turn. Could we? We could probably bring in Nature's Claim against them. They have Corsair, Crufix, and Mox Jet. I don't know if that's too few targets come on come on okay i'm not complaining so hey better up welcome hey mateo it's lovely to see you yeah draco chat has lost it so if we attack with everyone and they block coarser to plant two plants get in Avenger gets in, so that's one, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our channel points bugged. I don't think so. I don't see chat draft. <laughs> so, oh, they might block Ewit. Yeah, that might that might make. Uh, you're a teacher thinking of streaming some classes. Is your stream start helping video on your YouTube? It is. It is. Um, you can find it on there. I, th I think it will be helpful. All right. I think I want to wait on attacking with the other stuff, actually. But I think Avenger can get in there. Love it, Matt. Send that message. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, never mind. It's not tap. That's my mistake. Okay. Might as well get the Jiroga Tree Speaker to be a 1 4. Not that it. Is this an elf? No, it's a human shaman. Funny. Yeah, Carrington is a plant. It's a really weird interaction. Just sorry, but I've been wanting to see. I know. So the only Joe Fish, we got the strip mine deck. We're missing some pieces to it. We don't have the Crucible, and we didn't get either Oracle or Corsair Crufix, which is a problem. Oh, they couldn't actually play there. So we know one of the cards in hand is Acidic Slime. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ramming up Excavator, Green Sun Zenith. Ramming up Excavator, Green Sun Zenith. Oh. Okay, we're definitely bringing in the Nature's Claim. Yeah, Fast Bond Rhyming Up, that's the... Green Sun's for one. <sighs> Spooky. Oh my gosh, for reals. Alright, we're sending with everyone. Sounds good, see ya, Draco. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, do they have Hoof? Maybe. Given the fact that they block there, maybe they don't. It, 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 they could certainly have it though, we'll see. So Primal Command on top. Yeah, see, we really needed a way to like refuel our hand. I Maybe we should have taken the Time Twister? Nope, they are... Didn't they have Acidic Slime? They weren't dead if they played Acidic Slime. That's weird. So... Alright, what do we want against what we saw? We definitely want Nature's Claim. Why did they scoop? I'm not sure, actually. Scavenging Ooze doesn't seem like it does much. Night of Autumn... God, drawing Ramen up would have been so sick. Yeah, if we take out... 
one forest and play one plains, we're in pretty good shape to... We have plains, Caracas, um, Vista, Heath. Uh, Birds of Paradise, Cultivate, Sylvan Caryatid. So that's seven. Yeah, this is 41. I, I need to take a... Yes, Diamond works too. Excuse me, you're right. No, I don't think the Morphos make sense. Only if our fixing were like really, really horrible. We need to make one more cut. Honestly, we have a lot of ramp the way we do. I could see us cutting like one Cultivate. Oh, no, actually, I like that German. Maybe it's Huntmaster. Huntmaster looks kind of whatever. Huntmaster seems medium. Okay, I like it. I like it. Keep. Okay, the suspended search for tomorrow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, does that do it? One, two, three, four... So we can green suns for Ramunap. Right? That's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I think we're going to green suns for Ramunap here. This is our first. <laughs> we're going to take so much damage. Jen, as we did it, we have this strip mine deck. We're missing some pieces, but it's pretty good. Oh, we are popping off, BK. Look at us. Mom, get the camera! <laughs> um, so if we get Mount and then Green Suns for ramming up, then we can just Vista out the rest of the lands so that we play Viv. Yeah, that seems pretty good. All right, so let's go... <laughs> Vivian and Vista is a combo, indeed. So let's get Ram Yunap, Excavator. Hasta la Vista, baby. Let me just yield to this. Oh my god, <laughs> we're gonna kill ourselves by doing this. <laughs> so we do have enough to get all of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, yep. Lotus Cobra would have been tight in this hand. This is amazing. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Boom, baby. Wow. Great draw. Jeez. That was every basic on turn one. This has to be an accomplishment. It has to be. You know it is. <laughs> Let's make a creature with reach. Yes, I'm going to take a screenshot, BK. This is worthy of a screenshot. Okay. Let me do turn one. Amazing. Cool. <laughs> the trust so atrocious. <laughs> Don't judge me, mole. Crop it tighter. I can crop it tighter. A tighter crop, I think, is like here, like that. Well, now it says turn two. I can crop it from the original screenshot. Oh, you meant to pay two so, no, so that we didn't draw this thing? Yeah, I, I was a little worried about... I guess now I'll still do it. Okay. Ooh, I don't really want, I don't really want to e-wet the Vista back. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. But maybe, hold on, can I minus the Viv and cast that e-wet to get something? What do I have on two? Well of Blossoms, maybe? Oh, that lets us play the Mox <laughs> That's so sad. We have Well of Blossoms, right? I think we have Wall of Blossoms, so I'm going to go... I'm going to minus Viv so we can get the Wall of Blossoms. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, I guess I didn't actually want to tap my planes. 
Yeah, I, I think being able to, like, look, get the Wall of Blossoms, then maybe we hit something off the top. Get the Vista, now we can... Well, now we can actually just play the, the Titan. Natty. Use the ability. <sighs> okay, that's a good draw for next turn. You love to see it. Okay, so let me not play the Mox Ruby. I don't really have to play the Vista. Let me just attack... <laughs> this is our turn two. Hold on, I will take a screenshot of our turn two. This is such a weird hand. <laughs> yeah, I know, we're taking screenshots every turn. Alright, I'm not going to play anything else because there's just no real reason to. I don't think... Now we have no more force to search, but we can bend the Vista to the Mox Diamond. And that way we have double red for Inferno Titan if we hit that off the top, potentially. I think opponent's just along for the ride to see what's up. I mean, I would, I would too if my opponent did that on turn one. I'd be like, all right, I want to see your big finish. So next turn we get to make another Beast with Viv. I guess it depends on what we hit on top. Because we might minus the Viv again. If we have like Inferno Titan, we might actually do that. Get acidic slime and then destroy their island, maybe. Friend of mine wondered why Fastbone was banned in Commander. Maybe I should show him this for real. For real. What is this? Is this acidic slime? Taddy on the Vintage Cube would be cool, Ark. It was in the Legacy Cube, right? I think it was. And it was very good there. Um, so they're putting that on top. Search your library for a creature card. Reveal it. Okay. Don't really get to do much about that. What would they slime? I think the fast bomb. Though we're at four, so it doesn't even do anything. So we have them dead in two turns. They got a gilded goose. Oh my gosh, Louise. We went off. It was really funny. It was really, really funny. Oh, hold on, let me mod you. I am once again here to ask you to mod me again. <laughs> okay, so Nissa's gonna be on top. So we can just pass after making a thingy. Let's give this one, this one has reach. Let's give this one BG. Mm. It did work, Louise. <laughs> oh my god, what in the world? <laughs> I mean, a redemption is a redemption, I guess. <laughs> oh no, they have natural order? That's kind of spooky. What is this? You called the no. You called the no. Does that even do anything? I mean, it kills me on the crackback, I guess. Depends on what we hit off the top. We might have to... So if we attack and they currently block a beast, they take one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they just, they're just dead. Yeah, they, they are. I just needed to do some quick maths. Amazing. Strip mine deck once more delivering to ya. <laughs> um, all right. I need to use the restroom real quick. I drank a lot of coffee before the stream started. All right. Let me burb. Wow, chat, we did it. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of high I was trying to get with a cube. It really, really was. It really delivered. Amazing. All right. Let me put on my burb screen. Wait, what is this? <laughs> that's really good, BK. 
Congratulations, you demodded yourself. All right, let me put on my burb screen. Let me play an ad while I'm gone. I will be right back, chat. It's just gonna take me a sec. Yo, yo! Ba -ba -da. Let's do this. Man, this fan I got for this room was like the best purchase I've done in a while. I'm glad you guys can't hear it. That's pretty good. Oh no, Wujo, well, Gabby Chair is actually a legacy emote that's a bits reward, so I, I don't remember what tier it's at. So you wouldn't have it even if you're subbed, Wujo. This hand seems really slow given what this deck can do. Oh, I forgot to take a screenshot of our deck. Unfortunate. Is there a way that downloads the CR that maximizes the value you both get from the download? Uh, constructed resources? No, you just want to subscribe through Apple Podcasts if you can. Um, that's, the, that's the best way for it. I know it might not be an Apple podcast yet. I'm going to mulligan. This hand's too slow. This hand is... Ooh. This hand is a turn one tracker, but then we run out of lands to get back. What about on Android? Really, for CR, if you just, like, listen to it, if you're subscribed on any service, we have a way of tracking that. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this. What am I sending back? Because if I want to go Mox Diamond, Bin the Vista, play Stomping Ground, and Mox Ruby, play Tireless Tracker? No. <laughs> BK. You're okay, I can see sending back Huntmaster, keeping Nissa and the Tracker, which I'm going to play on turn one. Obviously. Um, play Mox Ruby. I'm good, Fuzzy Wuzzy. Thank you for asking. I'm going to shock for this. I'm going to play Mox Diamond and Bin the Vista. Hasta la vista, baby. Boom. Wait, why don't you want to bin the vista? The vista is the one that we're super... That's very easy for us to get back from the yard. Unfortunately, I bricked on land. Alright, we need to draw land. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Come on, land, please. Ugh, the Garg dad. I guess because because I have red and Mox Ruby and Mox Diamond. Yeah, that's fair, BK. Maybe I could have just gotten basic planes, plays around Wasteland too. We'll see. How good has Garg dad been? Really mediocre, German. I would not... I have it here because we, like, needed more playables, not because we're excited to play it. Though, if it does connect, it's pretty good. Man, our extremely explosive start. Come on, come on, come on. Please draw land. Please let me draw a land and kill the Teferi. Please, 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 please. yes! Uh, Laconic, thank you so much for the 25. I appreciate you. All right, so here is... I'm surprised they didn't bounce Mock Diamond. Yeah, me, me too, Molly. I think... I think we're better off with questing BZ. I just want that the fairy dead. Okay. It also pressures them a lot. Like, they actually... Do they have force? I... I don't know. Mana Vault planes into like a six drop each. Worm Coil Engine. It's a problem. It is a problem. I guess Questing Beast can trade and make smaller thingies. Wow, they went kind of ham. Uh, J turn! I'm sure making enough full jokes is going to get a great reaction. <laughs> Jaytern, thank you for continuing this up from zero now. I don't know if attacking makes sense. I guess they gain... Yeah, I guess attacking does make sense because if they do trade, the lifelinker only comes back for three instead of six. Yeah, attacking does make sense. They dig in a lot from the Worm Coil Engine. Oh, they're actually untapping their mana vault. Interesting. I would really like to draw land. Ooh, Emery. 
Oh no, that's a problem. Holy fish moly. They have Soul Ring in their deck, by the way. We want to bring in uh, the White Splash, I think. Oh yeah, we are in trouble. Oh, they have a second to fairy too. Can't block here. Yeah, Nature's Claim also. They have mono artifacts. Rough. So... We can get two clues out of this. And then maybe this might be enough. <sighs> yeah, we might just be dead. The problem is if they get back that Warm Coil Engine, I'm not really sure what our plan is. Yeah, the Emery Warm Coil Engine lock is better than the Time Tireless Striker Cultivate lock. And by that, I mean it's not a lock at all. <laughs> Yeesh, I'm just gonna have to take this. Can just be taking damage all willy nilly. Yep. Yep. Their deck is very good, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> hey, Slipknot, welcome. We are, on a scale of 1 to dead, we're unbelievably dead. I guess... Hold on. Hold your horses. If we go Infernal Titan, Boop, the Death Touch Worm, and then... Or maybe... Hold on. Thank you, Slipknot. I appreciate that. Nah, we're just dead. We are dead. We have to bring in all of our artifact removal. Yeah, their deck seems really good, Champagne. It seems very, very good. So we can bring Nature's Claim. There's a chance we want Scavenging Ooze. Um, Night of Autumn. All look good. We might not want Huntmaster of the Fells because it's just kind of whatever. We do want to bring in a Plains over a Forest. Where are we on a scale from Arc Sebs to uh, Gabby Rip? I think we're Gabby Rip. <laughs> I think that's it. What do we take out? Nice! That's awesome, Slipknot. Do you have any cool plans? What else do we bring? What else? What else? What else? How desperate do you have to be to play Stone? Uh, I think more desperate than we are. Stone's not very good. Okay, the Garg Dad is kind of bad. And we need to make one more cut. Yes, that's exactly where we're at, Ark. <laughs> is Goose just bad, Yuka? It might just be bad. <laughs> we did go to the glue factory. Gabby, long time to watch. Good. That's awesome, I'm done. Thank you. What did I think of the PT? I was watching it. I was mostly rooting for my friend BK. He did really well, even though it didn't. We are too fair. We needed a draw seven, honestly. All right, let me take out the Scoos. I don't think it's worth it. Do 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 yeah i mean i brought in the scoos against them but i think it might just be kind of crappy <laughs> parasolini thank you welcome back with the seven months you were also mostly rooting for you smart bk that was smart all right i'm gonna keep this at its worst we get the wall like i think i actually do want to play fast and just play a wind sub teeth just in case they have a way to interact with that like, if they can boot my fastball and I would like to get my second land going. I will not fetch. Hmm, okay, so now we do want to fetch. No, BK! I never come through, it rarely pairs off. I think you crushed this weekend. I think this time I do want to get Stomping Ground. And into Wall of Blossoms. Yeah. If I get a green source, I can play my Avizen's Pilgrim. Nope. Awkward. I 
Mox Diamond looking pretty bad here. Yeah, we got kind of... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it. Okay, 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 okay. So we have... Knight of Autumn. We brought Knight of Autumn in and Nature's Claim. Nature's Claim! Okay. So if we go Forest, Ewood, get back Windswept Teeth, get a Green Source, play Avacyn's Pilgrim, next turn I can Green Suns for uh, Knight of Autumn. So that's not bad. Or I even could just bin the Windswept Teeth to the Mox Diamond to play Avacyn's Pilgrim. Yes, they had Vault 2 and they have Mana Crypt. Their deck is just very, very good. Next turn, I can green some seeing this for ramming up. That is also good. All right, so let me go cast mocks, bin windswept teeth, play another one of these dudes, and then next turn, we green some seeing this for um, ramming up. They do have Teferi German. Is it Mox Diamond? It. I guess it is. This does allow us to play it versus not play it, which does give us more mana. Homage. I'm going to vote Carnage just to be cheeky. <laughs> Heath to win. Oh no. Do not like that. They have Mox Pearl in the yard, which they can cast for free next turn, and they bend it to Fairy. <laughs> if we lose, we'll still have near infinite mana with Ramina. It's all about those silver linings, BK. All about them silver linings. Moat? Excuse me? Okay, now I actually do have to get... Um, Night of Autumn. <laughs> really? <laughs> what in the world? Uh... Hold on, let me play my forest, I guess. Moat and Crypt is a, is a combo. But they clearly don't want me attacking them, so I think we should. Um, yeah, let's do Green Suns. Oh, why don't we just Green Suns for Slime? Yeah, 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 that's just better. Yeah, green sounds for slime. Boop. They're going to have a hard time blocking the slime, presumably, too. Homage. Carnage. <laughs> Take some damage. Lose, 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 lose. Come on. God, never. Opponents never lose to Mana Crypt. Only you lose to Mana Crypt. It's stupid. They got back Mox. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Wyrm Coil. <laughs> Classic Wyrm Coils. Now if they have Wyrm Coil, that, that would be bad. I do get to play Questing Beast next turn and hit them for a good amount. Get in with Beezy, Pilgrim, Ewit, and Acidic Slime. That's six, seven, eight, nine. That's not bad. Yeah, I am once again here asking you to vote Carnage. Elspeth making a 1-1. One, one. That's not that spooky. We we will want to make sure that we kill the Elspeth. Oh, Caracas is going to dunk on Q-Beast. You are right about that. Hmm... Unfortunate. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I mean, I think we just have to jam. Let's see if they just maybe don't notice. I still sent the rest of the team at Elspeth because we have to. Come on, come on, come on, let it hit, let it hit, let it hit. No, 
our questing busy. All right, well, you got the alley down at two. She guesses something. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate, they noticed. <laughs> they and noticed. Why is Questing Beast Love Engineer? Because apparently, I actually know the answer to this uh, turn one table. Apparently, Questing Beast is like, um, it's like a mythical being. Like in, in legend. Oh, they're actually tapping out. Oh, to get to fairy back? Oh, that's sad, Cyclo. Yeah, so so it is actually like a, a, a beast that gives you a quest in like a mythological setting. So it is the questing beast. I know it doesn't say the questing beast, but that is what it does. Where's regular people you've gone? It should still be here, Penguin. We shuffled some stuff around because some of the stuff, some of the emotes weren't working. I might have to look at it again then. It should, it should still be around. So attack this at them. Attack this at... I guess maybe our best chance... No, I guess this goes at Elspeth, and then this one won't attack. I'm gonna hold on to that Misty. There's no real reason to play it. Swords on my questing beast. Wow. Freaking brutal, man. We can just scoop chat. We are dead. We are dobs. Can't beat this board. I know they're at 12, but the Sun Titan and Elspeth kills us in like two turns. Yeah, it really is. Let me look at better TTV. It should be. It should be around. It's meant to be. Oh, you're right. No, we have people weird leave, but we don't have regular people leave. So let me go look at emotes. Let me look at people leave. Oh my god, there's this emote that's so goddamn weird, look. This is a pet the people. <laughs> Wait, let me find people leave. People leave, there you go. Okay, people leave should be enabled again. <laughs> the pet the people is so weird. Uh, I don't, we should, I do think we have Pepega. Well, we have Bopega too. Okay, I just added Bopega. We didn't have it. Or maybe I can't add it because I have too many emotes already. Yeah, that's true. We, we have Bopega. We actually have Gabby Bopega, which isn't quite as wide as the other one because it was we couldn't do it due to the Twitch sizing restrictions. First time on the stream to you from Game That's Episode with Kenji. Welcome to the stream, Mace Racer. It's good to have you here. That's true. Also, when in doubt, we have the Bone Zone. So, so do remember. These are the better TTV emotes we have. We have people leave, people arrive, Pepe hands, bone zone, carners, weird people leave, Popogo, bop eight, scam, infoco, cad blob, slothers, pika o, and people clap. Hey, Jess, welcome back. <laughs> the bone zone. That's still my new favorite emote. I don't know why I love it so much. It's so ridiculous. I like that it's called the bone zone, I guess. This looks like a keeper. It's pretty good, Garib. I, I recommend it. What is a Pepe with lightsabers? I don't I don't know. Not sure. Let me do that. Hopefully we don't run into a wasteland. Go Brofellows into Questing Beast. That's a good start. How do I explain Bopega to somebody not on Twitch? It's really like so many jokes removed that it's hard to I don't know if you can properly explain Bopega. Like, if you don't want to, if you don't know, you can't ask about it. <laughs> How about Pug, please? I don't have room anymore. I ran out of space, sadly. I have a bunch on Frankers. Yes, I like that too, Narbly. It, it's, it's been awesome having that on the channel. Like, all, all of your, mostly, mostly the boppers emotes. <laughs> it's so many levels deep, Garib. It's like, well, first you have to explain what the emote is. Oh my gosh. My my opponent ends up ancestral. Wow. All right. Ratoncito. We can beat Ratoncito. I can move Bopate. Oh, that would be. 
Yes, that sounds awesome, Narwi. I would super appreciate that. All right, so let me cast this Mox Ruby because this will let us play Whisperwood without um, being scared of running into... Um... Actually... No, I'm going to do a weird order for this chat. I'm going to do Whisperwood first so that they can't, like, um, like force spike me, essentially. Oh, they did ban a Grizzle Daddy, huh? That is kind of spooky. Yes, you need to explain what Pog is first, and then you could explain what, like, Boppers is, and then you could explain that it's a mix of those two modes. Yeah, Days is in the cube, Josh. That's, that's, I couldn't remember what it was called. That's the card I wanted to play around. I think this is going to be Necromancy. Oh, Coalition Relic. Into Reanimate, mayhaps? Nope, just charge a counter. So they don't have an insta way to reanimate this thing. It's good for us. Hold on. Um, we might actually want to attack with Rafelos, is that right? Let's put this at four. No, we probably want to play our hand out, though. I guess they could just Damnation, that would be kind of bad. They lose Retoncito. I think we actually want to attack with Rafelos. We don't have to play... Yeah, I think so, Yuka. I think I want us to do like this, and then maybe I'll play Avacyn's Pilgrim. That way, if they have a Wrath, I can go ramming up and start buying back the lands from the yard. Sure. They're at 10, so we hit for 4, 8, 9... So I'm not going to play the Avacyn's Pilgrim. I don't think we need to. Karyatid. Okay. Uh, living death would be bad, yes. If I living death, I can sack the Whisperwood, and then Rofellus and Whisperwood will be in my yard. Lily Death's Majesty to reanimate Grizzlebrand. Okay, that's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, see, that, that was my plan. I saw that, German. That's cool for them. Okay. Not sure how we're going to deal with Grizzlebeezy. <sighs> All right. If we just hit with Questing Beast, they might want to protect their Lily. I, they might, like, block, draw, and protect Lily. Otherwise, we can just hit with Questing Beast, and if we Brick, we can go... One, two, three. Oh, so we can't quite play this thing. Sadly. All in and Titan. All in and Titan doesn't actually work very well. Is it worth sending a 2 2 at least so she's guaranteed she dies? Maybe. I guess if we do that, we could send with this, 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 all at them, and then this at here. If they block the Questing Beast, then it still dies. If they block here, Questing Beast kills it. So they probably block there. They go up to 17. And. Then they take six, seven, eight. That's not great. I can't play the Titan chat. We don't have the mana. We do not have the mana. So I don't think there makes sense to, to send the Whisperwood. So I think what we can do is we can send Questing Beast at them and the Windswept Teeth at Lily. That way if Windswept Teeth dies, I can buy it back with Ramming Up so we can guarantee Inferno Titan next turn. So this and that. No, that's not enough damage, Josh. We can't play Inferno Titan. If you're counting on Inferno Titan, we can't do that. Okay, so Questing Beast still manages to kill Lily, which is nice. And then we go Ramunap into buy back the Windswept Teeth. <laughs> we definitely had Chet Lethal. It is accurate. Okay. And then we get to manifest the next thing. We don't even know what's on top. I guess I'd rather... No, we don't really have to crack the heath. Hey, Dabu! Ooh, we got a Jiroga. We might flip that later. Let's get to see you, Dabu. Probably forgot about the Planeswalker damage clause on Beast. No, I think it makes sense for them to block the Windswept Teeth anyway. Is Twitter Dobbs? I don't think it is. Not to my knowledge. 
Well, Amni, I wanted to, I wanted the land too. Like I, I, I attacked with that manifest. How do you flip manifest? You pay the CMC of the creature underneath it. Questing beast too weak, no reach. <laughs> well, we'll see what they did. Cause th th this way we do guarantee the Infernal Titan, which is really good for us. Plus if they attack, oh, let's see what they have. Holy fish moly. That is a problem. All right, can't do anything about this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Any order is fine. What's the point of flipping Sylvan? It just dies. Oh, Sylvan K. Oh, wait, actually, we could have flipped Sylvan Carrot Sorry, I was confused. Oh my gosh, hold on, I'm getting. I should have shut down my Slack one sec. <laughs> Sorry, Reach. Sorry, I, I just debated everybody with a Slack. I, I should have shut down my Slack. Um. It doesn't actually change the clock for me to do this, so I think I should. I know, I really, I really just got all of chat by doing that. So they're going to clean up. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, oops, move to the other window. Oh, that is, that is clutch. Okay, that's really good. So I think I attack with everyone. They probably don't block i can jump with wall of blossoms and then caracas can just bound grizzle beezy or if they block like ramming up to massacre worm or something or like whisperwood to massacre worm i can inferno titan to finish it off and then caracas to bounce the grizzle brand so Yes, it also means that if they don't block and they just feel safe, we could just kill them, maybe. Okay, they chose to blow the Whisper Dad. So let's just let that happen. I take some damage, sure. Uh, hold on. Let's play around days by going one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's true. I guess we don't play around days by doing this because we can't do it. Yeah, that's fair. So one over there, two over there. Nug them. And then... I think it's probably worth it for us to... Oh, maybe I was supposed to actually do this after bouncing Grizzled Beezy. Because they might have found a way, like a force of will to counter my Inferno. Oh no, they can't actually draw. You're right. It doesn't even do anything. Let me go ahead and bounce this now. Okay. So now they have to deal with my board and they... One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't play Grizzlebrand. Oh my god, I debated you, Rege. <laughs> I got you good. I think they tapped their relic for mana last turn, Dabu, when they cast that Massacre Worm. So they didn't have charged up relic this turn. Girl Stompers, we're like a... We're a... Um, fast Bond deck. Oh my gosh. That's bad. So they have to block... Uh, oh no, they don't have to block my Questing Beast. Brutal. Oh, this one might do us in. Memphis, we had one where we played all of our basics in our deck on turn one. It was so, so good. It was like fast spawn into... No! Yes, Tomorachi, we got a strip mine deck. We didn't get like the strip mine deck, to be clear. <laughs> Just a strip mine deck. So if we draw a green sun zenith or... Um, basically acidic slime or green sun saintness. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not cultivate. Why? 
So we're still not dead. Because they attack, hit us for three, and then we can just... This doesn't have trample, right? Yeah, so I suppose... I mean, we can play the Heath even though we're not going to activate it. Oh, we're, we're very likely dead. We're just... Might as well... Might as well give ourselves one more draw step. Like, if we do draw Acidic Slime or Green Suns, I think we can maybe try to rally. Get that Infernal Titan back to us. Okay. So this is probably going to kill my Ramunap. And then I can chump with Wall of Blossoms. And then after that we have one turn to see anything. Yeah, they can Grizzlebrand again next turn. I mean, look, we basically get one draw step to see if we're dead. They can't actually draw much of their deck at the life that they're at, so it is just a 7-7 seven, seven life linker, which is huge, don't get me wrong, but... They got Nissa Viv and Misty Rainforest and uh, Dried of the Elysian Grove, so we were still alive for Green Suns or... Also, if they cast Grizzlebrand, we, we have the Karaka, so that doesn't actually do anything, as long as we don't tap out. Okay, that makes Green Suns no longer... Because it's not a legend, right? Yeah, that makes Green Suns no longer an out. Come on, Acidic Slime! Acidic Slime! Acidic Slime! Just gonna do it. I'm just gonna try it. I can't bounce Glenn. It's not a- Whoa! They let it resolve? Alright, I'm not complaining. Not complaining. Not complaining. Uh, acidic slime. I don't know. I, I just decided to jam just cause. I thought it was worth it. But why didn't they sack? Maybe they thought it was a bait? Maybe they thought I was trying to bait them. Yes, this, that is not, chat, this is not a legend. It's Glenelendra Archmage. An Archmage from Glenelendra. Did they know about the forest? Well, we have, um, um, Avengers on the car, so we actually want to have a land in him at least. Yeah, look, there's no comma. There's no comma. I always, people always think this is a legend. Glenelendra is a place. So this is an archmage from Glenelendra. She is not Glenelendra the archmage. Or they or he or whatever. They got Dried of the Elysian Grove. Sure. Oh, I see what you mean, Dokomo. I didn't think it was... Um, I guess in future turns they might be bait. Maybe they forget about it or something. Is this Grizzlebrand? Oh, that's uh, not good for us. I think they just messed up, Frodity. Uh, we can't really beat Warm Coil, sadly. Warm Coil is very good against what we're doing. Hmm. What could we draw off of this tireless tracker? Yeah, so we can go... We already played the Inferno Titan, so we can go these two off the tracker and then draw to see what we get. One, two...
I mean, this kind of blocks some stuff. I don't... It gains life. It helps against Glenn. <laughs> Gives us one more turn against Glenn. Though, I guess we have to tap out of Caracas if we want to do this. It boops our face if we flip. So that, that could be good because we could actually boop the Glenalendra maybe. Well, we can shoot down Glenn with uh, um, German with uh, Inferno Titan, but then they're going to block Warm Coil Engine. Is there nothing left to fetch? No, I can't fetch. It's just we go to one. Maybe it is right to attack and just shoot two to the Glen and one to the or and one to them. Can we put them to two and kill them by flicking Hunt Master and turn? Oh, no, that's not going to work because they gain life off of the worm coil. All right, so here's the plan. I think we do have to attack because we have to kill the Glen. We're going to attack them. We're going to two them, one. So two here, one. They're probably going to block with Worm Coil. Sure. Then we can trade the Death Toucher. For why no fetch the life game from Hazard's Prisoner out of range for the Glen right? Yeah, we might fetch. We might we might still fetch. I'm trying to make sure we can survive the hits back from the worms. So Tireless Tracker can block the Dryad. This can block the Death Toucher. And then these two get in for four. I go to four, and then we can put the wolf in front of the worm, maybe. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna not fetch. Cause I don't I really think if we have to untap and we play the grizzle like brand, I think we're fine. Like yesterday. Where is the strip mine? We have the strip mine! I'm gonna not fetch because I think it might the one point of life might matter. Okay. I mean I might I might end up fetching if I feel like we need to make the tireless tracker a little bit bigger, but we don't have to do it yet. Yeah, exactly, Arihi. I think we can fetch, um, depending on how this turn goes. I just feel like we're like on thin ice, so I'm really trying to get every edge we can. Sticky Bandit, thank you so much for the 10 months. Welcome back. It is lovely to have you back. TSG, holy moly. That is really bad. They can just get Massacre Worm and kill us. I hope they don't do that. Yep, they did it. And we're dead. So let's see what we were going to draw. Mox Diamond into Strip Mine into Avengers on the card. So we were not going to win. Uh, so what do we want post board? They have a bunch of... Yeah, I know. The line of reanimate the Massacre Worm. Yes, we probably want the knight, which means we're bringing in a planes and taking out one of these. We want to bring in the nature's claim. And I think that means scavenging ooze is good against the scarab god. We probably want to take out Huntmaster of the Fells. I don't know if Tristani does anything, Moo Moo Moo. Oh, I guess against works against treachery. Yeah, I can get behind that. Let's take out Elder Gargaroth. It's just kind of clunky and bad. Um... We have a lot of ramps, so I can still see taking out Cultivate. Avacyn's Pilgrim helps splash for our white stuff. Fast Bond, Wall of Blossoms. I think we can maybe take out Wall of Blossoms. That doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot here. Okay. Cool, that's the deck. Let's take a screenshot real quick. Yeah, Toads, we've been trying to get the Strip Mine deck for a while now. This, this deck didn't quite get there. We were missing some draw sevens. Like, we were missing some card draw and, like, Corsair Crufix or Oracle of Moldaya. We really, really wanted those. But it's still a pretty good deck. I don't think... I think Ghostone is a little, like, 
too 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 bad for us we can keep this but i think it's reasonable to consider by the way archie did you all see that gen con is doing like a gen con online thing what did you all think of that is it worth checking out i i actually had tickets to go to gen con i'm really sad about it we have not drawn the best rage agreed Ba, ba, ba. Let's get stomping ground with this. Nope. Time for carried. Oh. Okay. Yield to that. That was a not a bad draw. What match is this? I think this is the third match. Is this the third match, chat, or the second match? I think this is the third match. Ramming up would be so sick with his hand. Next turn, at least we can play the questing BZ. Oh my god, the Ancestral, their deck is so good. I think it's the third one too. Uh, it's currently playing a Vintage Phantom Draft League, current record one on one game down, down a game. Yeah, I think we're going to go one two with this one, sadly. This is non creature, right? Non creature, non land, so they can't take anything. <laughs> I know they are. It's not fair. My opponent's playing Ancestral Recall. Judge! Um, the damage from Fast Bond does put a trigger on the stack, uh, Cohen. That's why I yielded to it, because it's gonna it's gonna keep pinging us at every at every turn. It's gonna be like, are you sure? Are you sure you're taking one damage? You're taking one damage. Okay, here comes the Grizzle Brand. Oh, they didn't have it. So, I think we'd rather play Tristani. Just use our mana a little bit better, because Questing Beast gets to hit immediately, basically. Hey, happy dude! It's good to see you. How are you? Look at our Sylvan Care Dead with a plus one, plus one on it. Yeah, it actually works, Garab. I think uh, that it's... Con I think it's been borked at different points, but it definitely does work. I know, Tomodachi, I'm sad about Gen Con. I am sad about the Gen Con. I guess I'd rather Tristani die than Questing Beast die. Hmm... Okay. Well, let's hope this questing beast is enough. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold the land. There's no real reason to play it at the moment, and we have Avengers Zendikar, so... Hey, Northern! Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome back to the brood. Let's see if they pay for this. Doubt. I doubt it. Yep. Tristani would be good against Retro. We still have an Ewood in the deck, so if we get that Ewood, we might be able to buy that back. Oh, come on, man. Sure, that makes sense, Six Foot. I think the other conventions are probably in, like, a really bad spot. Like, some conventions might just die after this, you know? Like, it might... Mm. I think we're playing Knight of Autumn as just a big guy. Luis, you did that to yourself. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do about that. What do you want to do about that? Yes, this isn't the Chupacabras versus New Players Cube, although my opponent is playing way more Chupacabras than I am. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, this deck really needed some draw sevens chat. I feel like we got half of the engine going pretty well, but the other half of the engine is missing. I think if I were them, I might have left it to block the Knight of Autumn. We'll see. That could have been Shinobi, too. Chardy C? Sure. 
Crack the Verdant or no? Nah? Pack Rat. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Something good. Green Suns. What can we Green Suns for? Can you have Green Suns for Whisperwood? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we should Green Suns for Whisperwood. That might be the best thing. Do you have enough for Avenger? No, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can't get Avenger, sadly. And we can't get Inferno. But we could get Acidic Slime, Coasting Beast is dead. We could get Ewit to buy back. We could get Green Suns to buy back something from, from the yard. That is not bad. Hey, Looter, welcome. Although the drafts are going well. Let me play Mox of Ruby. I think I'm just going to try to... Wait, are they... I, yeah, I'm going to try to go for Whisperwood. Are they thinking about countering my Mox Ruby? What's going on? Nah, Team Kessick, I think we are too far behind to do that. Guess I could play around days by playing my planes. What's her deck? Yeah, it's kind of like a strip mine ramp deck looter. Hey, Morty's dog! Welcome back with the team ones. Hey, Gabby. Hey, chat. Nice to see some cubes after a long day. Yep, I think we're gonna get Whisper Dad. Hope that's good enough. I guess I can attack with Night of Autumn. I would trade for these things. Seems fine. Yes, this is my white whale. Strip mine plus excavator. Though we missed some of the other stuff. Like we needed more card draw. We didn't we need to get a harmonize or something. And we also were looking for like um hold on, let's see what this is. Forest. Good, I don't want to draw that. We're also needing like a Corsair Crufix or an Oracle Moldaya. Yeah, we really needed that Dokomoy. Our deck really, really needed that. Yes, Ren would have been so sick. We needed more ways to recur the strip mine. Or even like ways to tutor it. Like if we had Knight of the Reliquary, we would have played that. We didn't see it though. Oh my god, German. <laughs> I'm sorry, my deck is really bad, okay. <laughs> Pulls that collar. That's really funny. Um, What did I take? Strip mine over and pack one, pick one? I don't think we actually passed anything too meaningful, Dokomoi. Like, it wasn't, like, power versus strip mine. It was just kind of, like... I don't know. Does anybody remember the first pack? Let's see. Nessa who shakes the world, Caracas, and strip mine. Well, we actually wanted the Caracas against the Grizzle Brain, But what are you going to do? Yes, it was just Legacy Cube stuff, right? Do, 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 do. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Luke. So we're going to send with stuff except the... We can send with Night of Autumn and the Manifest. And not the Whisperwood. It just doesn't do anything if we send it there. And the Soldiers also don't do anything. Four power or two power seems like the key at the moment. Jules, what's going on, girl? Julie, she's getting huffy. Uh, I think I'd rather kill. Oh, they might have the Scarab God, in which case they're making this block. How's Julie Dooley? The Julianold? She's doing good. She's just her lovely self, you know. I think I will still kill them. Chupacabra. Alright. It's a defensible pick, yeah. 
Yeah, it kind of feels like they have TSG incoming, but we can't really do anything about it, so. I, that's why I was considering maybe not killing one of them, just assigning the damage to one of them. It's true. I don't think we can beat Scarab God anyway, so. They discarded a Swamp, and we manifested a... Prismatic Vista. Alright. No TSG. No TSG. No TSG, dealer. They got Ramming Up Excavator, Acidic Slime, and a Land. This has got to be TSG, right? Yeah. Rough. Hmm. I mean, that's not bad. That was not good, though. <laughs> Take up. The first one's gonna have VG, I think. So we're gonna lose Whisperwood to this. I guess that's fine. Oh, Archie, we still have... Um, Eternal Witness buying back Tristani could actually do something there. But at the moment, we just don't have... Oh, that's right. I cleared off with Whisperwood. You are right about that. Nah, I still hit a forest on top. So this is sacrifice it until the turn. Face up non-token creatures. You control gain manifest. All right. So we could block with like a Karyatid maybe just to manifest it. Oh, that's true, Narbly. I guess it depends on if they tapped out or not. Unlikely that it works, though. Yeah, god. This deck would have been so good with Oracle or Corsair. We almost got there. This doesn't count as us doing the strip mine deck, because it was not good enough. Green Suns, Winds Up Teeth, and... Oh! A Lavenger on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... So we hit a land, ugh, but we can't play land off the top. Ooh, okay. All right. Yes, Avengers a big game with minus two. We can't. Hey, Team Kessig. Or you're, oh, you're talking about <laughs> Avengers on the card. Yes, let me tick down. It's time to do some big casts. Ba ba ba. Trigger the Viv. What are the face down cards? Nothing exciting. We have a forest, a prismatic vista, and a mountain. So we could get Ewit, though that gets debated. We could get Inferno Titan, and that can kill a rat that seems pretty good huh our ewood is on top funny no you can't kill both rats that doesn't work chat remember rats have the rat ability Yeah, they, they just discard and then we do badly. So they can reanimate one thing here. They could reanimate... Oh my gosh, if they reanimate Tristani, our, no matter what attack we do, it's like a pretty bad attack. So I guess we don't attack. Yep, yeah, Ark. It's exactly that. Bummer. We're trying to go wide. It's going to be really hard versus TSG, though. They did get Tristani, indeed. The funny thing, though, is now that they have Tristani, if they actually treachery something, it'll come back to us. Sure. We got Ratoncito. Did we finally get the Stripmine deck? Call me brain, kind of. We got a Stripmine deck. It's not very good. Oh, is it? Does it go back to owners? No, I was talking. I was talking about um, treachery. At the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. Yeah, so it's still good against Treachery. No, we don't get the Tristani because they own that one. 
they made it themselves yeah it's like it's not Archistani. it's like a copy of Archistani. but it does turn off their treachery which actually matters <laughs> yeah you own you made this i made this you own this i own this so we have Ewit there and a bunch of nonsense. So we have to make sure we don't block with a Ewit at any point because it would be very bad if we gave them back an Ewit. That would be annoying. What is this attack? Is this Massacre Worm? Alright, given this attack... I think we can assume... God, if they have Massacre Worm, they're just gonna, like, destroy all my plants and I'm gonna die anyway, so... Whoa. What happened to my moto? What is this? Oh. That, that was very strange. I don't really know what that was. So... They can bin two cards to Retoncitos to make him pretty big, so we can go... It's not a bug, it's a feature. Lol. Massacre will just destroy me if they if they if they have that. Um. If they had it, yeah, that's true. We we would be dead if that were. That were the case. So we can go like this, eat that, eat that, eat that. Um, double blocks there, so that way if they discard two rats, we still kill them. Potentially want to throw in another manifest on here. Because that way if they reanimate like... Ravenous Chupacabra, they can't destroy my blocks. Um, we can definitely add some, some soldiers to some blocks. Do we kill rats? <sighs> I guess I could see this block also make sense. Look. Blocking Titan over here can't get big enough so we can still kill the, that rat. And then we can put that there, throw in these soldiers to block here for extra lifelink. We can put this here to make sure that if they kill my Whisperwood, we kill that token. Um, yeah, we can try this block. It's very bad, chat. We're in a really bad spot, but what are you going to do? Yo, Shadow Wolf! I could have maybe put this manifest on there, but then that puts Ewood in the yard, which I really don't want to do. All right, we'll see what happens. We are at... This does not look like a board of magic. Okay, thank you. Mm. <laughs> so languish, huh? Did I deck myself? I don't think I did. I only have like three things that get manifested. They're not all, um, it only affects non, let's see, Jiroga, Tree Speaker, Forest, and Dried of the Elysian Grove. Ooh, Scavenging Ooze, that might actually do some work. You kind of love to see that. So we only have seven cards left, by the way. Oh, 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 what's that? What's that? Ramming up Excavator! <laughs> now they can reanimate again with uh, Scarab God, so... If they don't respond to my scavenging ooze here, I'm going to play it super fast to see if they don't notice. Okay. Okay, we've got it live. That's great. They didn't. They didn't. That was really good for us. So we can make another one thing here. And uh, give it a VG counter. <sighs> I think I'd rather have three eats. I, I was just trying to go for the mind games, honestly. Because the thing is, if they don't notice, we just get the scavenging goose to start... This is game two. Alright, we're gonna have to try to play fast. Yeah, it's exactly, Derek Crow. My plan was just to play super fast so they didn't notice. No, I can't play the pilgrim because I want three sacks to the scavenging ooze. 
Like right now when they do that, I'm going to eat that. Yeah, we're down a game too. That's not good. Okay, so see, now the Scarab God didn't do anything. And now we only have two more eats, but they can only eat twice on their following turn, which is why I wanted to do that. I actually can't tap out to eat anything here because they can double respond against me, and I can't have that. Okay, so three more. God, that Ashok is going to kill us next turn. They can't activate anymore. Treachery. Oh, God. Now we're just dead. The Ewood is in the yard. No! We had assembled such a cool combo. Yeah, them's the breaks. <laughs> we really were trying to rally. All right, they get to untap. We're dead, actually. We're gonna try again, Ark. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We went one and two with our strip mine deck. It's okay, chat. We have until tomorrow to try to get the strip mine deck before they take it away from us. Either way, let me wrap up this video and then we'll uh, draft again. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our almost got their strip mine deck. One of these days, we're going to get it. Don't worry. You got to believe. Believe in the cleave. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you would like to support this channel, something super easy you can do is just subscribe to it. It lets you know when other videos come out and it helps the stream. And if you're shopping on channelfirewall.com, you can use the code Gabby because that also helps support the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.